So now we are going to see how exactly the mRNA vaccines work. There are plenty of mRNA vaccines, but now we'll see how they all generally function. Okay. Now we know that the vaccination process triggers our immune system to produce antibody without being affected by that infective agent or infectious agent. So in this case of mRNA vaccine, be it Moderna vaccine or Johnson & Johnson vaccine or any other mRNA vaccine, uh, the process is simple that the vaccine itself, let me write the vaccine itself contains mRNA as an active ingredient. Along with mRNA, there are different fat molecules, uh, sucrose and many other things are there. But actually, it's the mRNA which we, act, which we are looking for, right? which, we, which will actually instigate our immune system to produce antibodies. So, this mRNA is present there. Okay? The mRNA encodes for the spike proteins. Spike protein. Okay? Spike protein is not itself harmful. Okay? It's the spike protein means normally if I draw the virus. So, this is the virus. And the spike proteins, remember if you see the picture of the virus, you know there are spike proteins coming out. The spike protein interacts with the receptor of our cell surface so that the virus can be internalized inside our cell. So we just take the spy, mRNA that makes the spike protein because mRNA is coded into protein via the process known as translation. So the mRNA that makes the spike protein, that's what we take. And now this mRNA is inserted in our body intramuscularly through muscle okay here for example you take the injection mRNA is inserted mRNA for the spike protein is inserted so now what will happen is that the cells will take up this mRNA immune cells our immune cells let me draw the cells our immune cells with uh, the green color our immune system cells take up this okay any kind of I am not specifying any let us talk about any kind of immune cells in the body okay I am not specifying anything so immune cells take up this uh, mRNA and the moment they take up this mRNA, they make the protein, they make the spike protein here. And once the immune cells start making the spike proteins, they know that this protein is uh, not our own body protein. And the immune system has this special sense of detecting what is self, what is non-self. Okay? And once they make this protein, the spike protein, they immediately know that this is a non-self protein. This is not a self protein. So they destroy itself. So what they simply do is that normally there are specific immune system cells. Okay? Now normally if body cells take up this mRNA, they will make this protein and after making the protein, the cells die and this protein components are floating now in the body. And there are other immune systems cells in our body who can take up this protein and showcase this protein. For example, let me draw another immune system uh, cell here. Just a minute. This is another immune system cell. And this immune system cell is engulfing this protein inside first. They'll, they will take this protein inside first and then they will showcase this protein outside to rest of the immune system. It shows that, look what I got. I got something which is not ours, which is outside of ours, coming in from outside. That means that must be some infection, there must be some virus, there must be some bacteria. Okay? This kind of immune system cells are known as antigen presenting cells. We are not going into the details there. But these cells, when they showcase this, the fragment of spike protein, which is known as antigen here, okay? Whenever they showcase this, then the whole immune system will come into the action. They will be in contact with this cell showing the antigen and they'll they try to recognize what kind of protein it is, what kind of protein, where, what is the source. And based on this protein's nature, they will signal the immune system. Again, this was the cell mediated. This is the cellular mode of immunity. They will signal the humoral mode of immunity, particularly here to produce antibody specific specific antibody against this antigen in this case the spike protein so now this antibody y shaped structure i told you earlier this antibody they can bind to this antigen specifically and antibody are named after them like antigen means antibody generator okay so because this antigen whenever it comes inside our body antibody will be produced they are antigen generators the moment our body receives this antigen uh, antibody generators or antigens the antibody will start being produced by b cells of our immune system and the b cells are converted to what is known as plasma cells and this plasma cells are the factories that are producing the specific antibody against this antigen this spike protein and Whenever they produce this, not only the plasma cell will produce the antibody, but also they will keep
keep this as a memory for future purpose whenever in future times we receive this spike protein from outside directly for example via uh, the corona virus infection okay anyway we took this anti let's say we took this uh, why this drug will protect us because let's say we took this uh, mrna vaccine uh, two months back so we have the antibodies build up in our body now after two months uh, the coronavirus infects us the coronavirus also have this spike proteins and any other protein coming in our body and now our body recognizes a spike protein instantly as a foreign because now they already know what kind of protein it is it's not non it's not self it's a non self protein and they know that the specific antibody which specific antibody to produce now the antibody will be present for months to come four months five months six months eight months ten months depending we don't know exactly for how long it's going to protect us because the antibody will be there but apart from the antibody the memory cells will be there even after years once the antibody is depleted but still the memory cells are there memory cells will be staying there for a long period of time that whenever there is the same viral attack this memory cell start producing the same antibody without wasting time so the response will be very fast so even if you in, you get infected in future but the response of your body will be very fast that will protect you against that viral infection that's how this mrna vaccines work okay direct now the thing is the mrna vaccines don't directly use the coronavirus sars cov 2 here but they use only the mrna that codes for the spike protein so once you take the mrna vaccine you are not getting the sars cov 2 infection so don't be in the misinterpretation okay so that's it so that's it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that in future